Happy Monday and welcome to the video. This is my second video. This is my second episode in the effort of monetizing on YouTube. And if you don't know me yet, my name is Jamie and I'm a Gen X individual that is working full time and I would like to retire in the next eight years and have my house paid off. So I'm turning to social media and monetizing the, all of the platforms that I'm on, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, threads, Pinterest, and just trying to get enough money to do what I want to do, retire, pay everything off and just live very, very comfortably. So what I like to do in these episodes is, well, this is only my second episode, but my intention is to go over the analytics that I have on my YouTube, talk about some of the content that I've created and just, you know, just give a little bit of like things that I'm, I'm learning as I'm going along. YouTube is not the only platform that I'm attempting to monetize on. I'm already monetized on TikTok. That one is already going. I do TikTok shop and I'm part of the TikTok creativity program. I think it's called Creator Rewards Program now. I'm not even sure what the name of it is anymore. Already monetized on TikTok. I am in pursuit of monetization on YouTube and on threads. Facebook is a little tough for me. Instagram is a little tough for me. Those two might take a little bit longer. And then Pinterest, I'm just going to be using Pinterest to drive traffic to my other social media platforms. Let's dive into the analytics right now and take a look at what happened to my account this week. So let's take a look at my analytics. Last week, if you remember, I had 199 subscribers. This week I have 208, gaining me nine subscribers in a week. So that's fantastic. I think that's a pretty good amount of subscribers in a week for me. Um, let me go to my analytics so we can take a look at that. And again, I don't know what I should be looking for. Should I be looking at the last 28 days? Should I be looking at the last 365 days or the last seven days. Like let's look at the last seven days because I was comparing this week and last week. So I got 4.8 thousand views. I got 22.9 watch time hours and nine subscribers in a week. So I think those stats look pretty good. If I go down to my earn tab and scroll down, I'm really looking for this tier of needing a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So I have 54 public watch hours now as of July 24th. So that's just counting the other day. I did end up going into my content and taking some videos that were private and, and making them public. So that made my watch hours jump up a little bit because some of those videos had some watch hours. Um, so let's just look at the content for the week. So video wise, since last Mondays, the Monday was the 22nd. I put out one, two, three, four long form videos. And so one was about a clothing haul of some, some cardigan sweaters that I got on TikTok. The last video last week, um, of, get, of the getting monetized one, I talked a little bit about a living room remodel bamboozling thing that my husband <laughs> did for me. And then I did another long form video of how I'm designing my, my home to be more aesthetic. So 52 views on that video, 10 views on the living room remodel one, 21 views on the getting monetized video. And I got five comments. So that was kind of nice. And then 25 videos on the clothing haul one. So looking at shorts since the 22nd, I put out, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight shorts. Um, 410 views on this one, 411, 431, 506, 1162, 154, 435. So I get pretty good views on my short, which is nice. The other thing I, I wanted to go to, I didn't go into this last week, but if I go into analytics and I go into advanced mode and then go to subscriber source, subscription source, let's change this to seven days. And we can see where the source of my subscriptions have, have come from. So shorts feed, I got four subscribers, YouTube watch page. I got three subscribers, others, one subscriber, and then your YouTube channel, one subscriber. So I'm not really sure what the YouTube watch page is. I'm thinking that might be just the main page of YouTube that, you know, when you go to youtube.com that that's where those come from. So that's, that's kind of exciting. So that kind of gives me the breakdown. looks like I didn't lose any subscribers this week, which is nice. Overall, I think I'm pleased with the analytics. I mean, I gained nine new subscribers in a week. I would like to see that 
getting up to 30 to 50 subscribers a week. We will see how that goes. I mean, obviously I need to make better content. I need to make more content. I mean, that that's kind of the key, right? Is to have enough content. So the quantity, but then also make better content. So it's the quality. So I get people to return back to my channel. The more of my subscribers that watch my videos, I think that's better. And then they have the ability to bring in new subscribers to my channel so that those people watch. So like I said, I'm already monetized on TikTok. I'm trying to monetize on YouTube, trying to monetize on threads. Threads, I think I have a little over 400 followers, maybe almost 500 followers. I can't remember. But what I've been thinking about on threads is selling a digital product. I had gone down that road before and I wasn't successful just mainly because I couldn't get behind it. I couldn't like say with my whole chest, you know, like <laughs> buy my digital product. Like I, it just didn't feel authentic. It didn't feel good to me. So while I recognize the need to probably have a digital product and an email list, I've been super resistant to doing it just because I haven't felt authentic about it. So it's come up lately again. I've been thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. I don't know what I would want to offer. I don't know what I want to do. I know how to do it. I know how to set it up in a store. I know how, I know the mechanics of creating a digital product and doing that. The thing is, is selling it and feeling confident and feeling like the other person is, is getting a good value. I just don't know the purpose, I guess, of the digital product. I don't know that I want to be in the realm of help. Let me help you make money. You know, like I just, it gives me the icks a little bit still. And I don't know that I like that when I found the Amazon influencer program and I started making videos on TikTok shop and I was making a commission from physical products that just felt better to me. Like, like I, like if I have like this mug, like I know what I'm getting with this mug. I know the dimensions. I know, you know, things that I can fill it with. I know how the, the comfort of the handle. And I know that I can relay my experience with a physical product to you. The digital products are tougher because you have to have that confidence that the product that you put up is going to help the other person as much as it's helped you. And I've never felt that way because there are varying degrees. Like it's a spectrum. There are some people that want everything handed to them. They want basically a done for you business where they copy and they paste and they put it on, on a website somewhere. I'm not into that. I'm more on the learning spectrum, like take in what, you know, I'm, I'm relaying to you and absorb it and start learning and build on that and, and use your own creativity process. Like, like that, that's the spectrum, right? It's done for you. Um, do it yourself basically. And you know, I'm, I'm somewhere in the middle, but I guess maybe that's all about finding your ideal client. I, my ideal client wouldn't be somebody that doesn't think for themselves and that just wants a copy and paste business. That just wouldn't be my thing. But also I, I just, I don't know. It's, it's hard. It's hard for me to put it into words. So it's hard for me to imagine selling it. I just seem to like the physical products better. Like I said, you, you're, you're getting something concrete. You, what you see is what you get, et cetera, et cetera. And digital products, even though I know the mechanics and I know how to build them and you know, like my background's in it, it's like, I really understand it all. I just don't think that I can sell someone else what I know. I just, it, it's taken me 20 years to get to where I'm at working in IT. And then also it has taken me three years on social media, making videos on starting on TikTok and, and, and learning the things that I've learned. And I haven't figured out how to get that from my brain and be able to put it in a saleable product and be, feel confident that I'm going to get a result for someone else. And that's, that's where I'm at. So it could be a possible other income stream for me. I don't know if it will. I'm going to continue on my monetization journey on YouTube and I hope it doesn't take too long. I am okay. If it does, I'm okay. If it takes six months, nine months, a year, I'm really hoping that it doesn't, but, um, we'll see, we'll see how it goes. This is only episode two that I'm making in this format. Um, I'm going to continue making other videos about what's going on in my home and the products that I'm purchasing. I actually did 
I did a video last week of kind of like my in-between stage. I really wish I had done a whole bunch of videos of, of the before and I did not. I didn't do any videos of the of the before. I had a couch that I sold. The couch is gone. I had a couple cabinets that I took out of the room and I put them in the sheds. And then now one of the new cabinets is down there. So it's like I have stuff moving and going. I'm having my cabinets painted next week. So I'm going to be making another video about like the in progress of that. So that should help with watch hours. I'm going to continue to make my videos for the TikTok shop program and then repurpose those here on YouTube, YouTube shorts and on Instagram and Facebook. And I'm not sure where else. I don't know. I forget. <laughs> I guess where I'm going with this is there are some things that I know very well and some things that I feel very comfortable. And that is the physical products that I make videos for, for TikTok shop. Like I said, like physical things like this. And then the whole unknown is the, the digital products, whether I want to sell something or not, I, I don't know, but I do know that eventually I will get monetized on these platforms that I'm aiming to get monetized on. It's just going to take time. That's all it does. It takes time. It takes consistent effort. It just takes continually learning, improving and doing better. And then and then there you go. So I'm going to continue down that vein. If you're interested in watching my journey, you can subscribe to my channel. That's right down there below. And while you're there, you may as well give this video a like. I would appreciate that very much. Helps me out when people engage in my videos. It lets more people see my videos and then I would get them watch hours and be monetized faster. So um, I'm not taking this for granted. I, I definitely am in it for the long haul. I'm not here for a quick buck. I am here for learning as much as I can, sharing as much as I can. And, but being monetized is like the cherry on top of it all. It's like I'm enjoying what I'm doing and getting paid to do what I enjoy would be fantastic. So not that I'm going to stop doing it. I'm not saying that I'm going to stop doing it. Uh, I'm going to continue going until I am monetized. And we will see how many episodes that this takes. <laughs> I'm hoping about 10 to 12. I'm hoping it's not going to be more than that. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. So that's it for today's video. And I am going to do another one of these next Mondays. Hopefully I will have more than nine new subscribers. That would be fantastic. If not, you know, oh, well, we'll try again the next week, but, um, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. All right. Bye-bye.